Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LU WHADR tutorial part 5. In this video tutorial, I am going to provide a tip on HADR standby database, how the HADR standby database continues its activities or executes the, the activities in spite of the primary not being reachable. So the scripts that I am using are freely av available for download at db2luwacademy.blogspot.in. The URL for the YouTube channel is youtube.com slash db2luwacademy, email db2academy at gmail.com. This slide talks about the problem scenario and the tip. So the problem scenario is we want to demonstrate how like a standby database can continue to run the activities or utilities it has started uh, in spite of the primary being not reachable. So, so in a HDR primary standby setup, uh, the, the primary is going to ship all the log files to the standby and the standby is going to uh, execute these log records, uh, roll forward these log records. So if for some reason, if the network is down or even you can deactivate the primary also. So for some reason, if the primary is not reachable, but the log records are still available on the standby. So it can just go ahead and continue to uh, do the roll forward activity, uh, at least for all those log records that has been shipped to the standby. So that is what I wanted to explain here. and. The thing is, we, you don't need uh, the primary to be up and running for the execution or the roll forward of at least those log records that have already arrived. Now, if you look at various various uh, queries can be executing, there can be load utility, there can be reorg. So if you load a table on the primary, if it takes like say one hour, then uh, you don't need to keep the primary up and running uh, because it is going to take another one hour to complete the load in the standby. So you don't need to wait two hours, you know, so you can do your primary if, the, if you want, there is a need to deactivate the primary, you can go ahead and deactivate the primary, uh, don't worry about the standby, the standby will continue loading that particular um, uh, table uh, till that uh, the second hour passes, right. So that, that's what I wanted to demo and, and you don't need uh, like a, like it, it needs to be connected always, okay. So there can be, so I, it, it is a mild scenario variation of the previous tutorial, the part four, if you have watched, it's the same thing. So, uh, you know, standby can always pick up the slack from the primary or it can always synchronize it, right? So it, with, with whatever activities they are bringing down and bringing up. So it can always um, synchronize that. So that is what I, I wanted to say. So standby need not be consistent, can continue execution of shipped log records in spite of non-availability of primary, but obviously, only those log records which have reached. So, and the thing is, what happens to the acknowledgement? Even if the acknowledgement is not sent, I don't think it's much of an issue uh, because it can, it is going to again resynchronize uh, from the crash recovery point, I guess. So, it shouldn't be an issue. Okay. So, any case, uh, uh, you know, uh, we'll we'll go for a demo as usual. So that way, it is more uh, easier and clear to understand. So here already, I have like the same. Uh, like the last tutorial. So I have the two virtual boxes. This is going to be my standby X Ubuntu. This is going to be my standby. I have activated the database in the standby and this is my primary system. And you can see that this is primary and is in peer state. Okay. So that's, I have done already. So what I'm going to do is connect to the primary database and let's go there connect to the primary database and it also open up another terminal. Okay. So I'm going to load the data. So this DB2 load from this Dell file of Dell replace into the table copy S and I have a shared location here. So when I say copy S the load copy image will be created here so that the standby can pick up from there and load the data and replicate that operation in the standby. So that is what is the intention here. So you, we need to set up a shared location uh, like this. So which I have done using the Oracle, the virtual box itself has the, that concept of uh, if you look in the machine settings, you can share the folders like there is a shared folders. So it's a virtual box thing. So you it's an easy thing. You can look at the documentation and do that. Um, now let's concentrate on the DB2 side. So what I want to do is load this, load this uh, particular, uh, lo load the data into the primary. Okay, let's go, let's go do that. Okay, 
So once it starts loading, so you should be able to see that using this command db2 diaglog command. Okay. So, I mean, obviously you can use the list utilities also. ST1 db2 in ST1. So I'm just showing you a different way of doing that. So okay. So starting load operation. Okay. It is still not completed. You can use db2 okay db2 pd hyphen db hadr hyphen utilities. Okay, so you can see that the load is running. You can also scan for the for the diaglog. So in the diaglog, the entries will be there, right? So the starting of load is done. Let's wait for it to complete and look at in the standby. So in the standby, if I give HDR utilities, it for some reason, I don't know, it, because it is like in a roll forward state, right? So it's not going to, it's not going to show me anything uh, for the load actually. Um, okay, this is utilities. So this, this one is like a roll forward thing. Okay. Roll forward recovery. It's not showing you like that particular load activity is running, uh, because it's still not yet started actually. Okay. So e, okay. Hyphen HDR. It's connected. It's in peer state, but the load activity has not yet started in the standby. So how do I say that? So I can, I can show you that. So let me show you that. This is again, I'm using the diaglog utility. I'm using the function name, function name SQL UDCPY. So this will tell me you're going to, you're going to see that in a short while. So, um, let's just look at that. See, still the load activity is running here. Okay. It's still, it has started the load operation. It is still going on and, uh, it has to be, it has to get completed eventually. Okay. So once the load get completed, what we'll do is we'll connect reset and we will, okay, we'll deactivate the HADR primary itself. So that's what we are going to do. Okay. Okay. Come back here. The load is still not started. The load has still not reached here and, uh, the load is still happening here. The load is still, still did not complete actually. So DB2 list utilities. Okay. The load is still running. Show detail. The load is still running. Few more rows to go. Another, I think some 40, 400,000 rows to go close to 400,000, I guess. I don't know. 148, right? 182 is the total work. 148 is done. 156. Shortly, you will be getting that. You can get that using this also. So starting load, like the load phase is started. Okay. You will get an another entry saying that load completes. So I'm just waiting for that to happen. So once that happens, we can, we can connect reset and we can deactivate the primary itself. Okay. Okay. So completed load operation. This is what I was telling. So come back here. The load copy has started. See started to restore load copy. So this is what I was saying. So here the load activity has completed and here the load activity has started. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do go quickly connect reset and deactivate the primary itself. So now you can see that it is still doing the load. Okay. So this is the problem. Like, uh, if I, if I go and say DB2 HADR hyphen U T U T I L I T I E S, it, it, it is only showing that some roll forward is happening. We exactly don't know what, what it is roll forwarding, right? So we, we just know, okay, some activity is going on. Okay. But it, is it exactly load? I don't know. So yeah, that you can see here. So starting to load, starting to restore the load copy and load copy restore completed. You can see the timestamps also. Um, 
So, this one is like uh, 1854 and this is 1855. So, close to 1 minute. Okay. So, in 1 minute the load copy restore got completed. So, we, we have deactivated the database. Uh, I, I just showed you, right? So, we deactivated the database. Uh, see, the, it completed 1854. Okay. So, on the primary, the load got completed at 1854. So, you can see in the standby, uh, after 1854, only the load got started here. And 1855 it completed which it took about one minute to complete but within that one minute what I did was I went here and I connect reset and deactivated my my primary itself so still it did not stop the load like it's doing very fast here even with 1 GB so that's why you're not able to you know maybe if you have some 2 GB or 3 GB of records I mean like 10 GB of record, try try it, try it out with the 10 GB of load activity you will be able to much more see see in a realistic way this one minute of short duration is somewhat difficult but um, uh, but with this with a less powerful laptop i can only demonstrate that much so um, so that is going on so even after starting the restore on the standby if the primary is deactivated or the network is down it doesn't matter um, the load copy will successfully complete on the standby so that is the tip that i wanted to provide you in this video tutorial uh, hope this tip was useful to you and uh, please subscribe to my channel db 2 lw academy and youtube.com see you in the next video tutorial until then bye bye